Hello children, my name is Selza Narona. I am the mother of two wonderful daughters. My daughters love to read and they have learned such a lot from their adventures with reading. So I decided to share with all of you our love for stories. The story I chose today is about Anna Money. The book's name is Anna's Extraordinary Experiments with Weather. The book is written by Nandita Jayaraj and illustrated by Priya Kurian. The book is published by Pratham Books on their platform storyweaver.org.in. Now Anna Money was an Indian scientist who loved to read about the world around her. Just like the cotton wool doctor, she was curious and courageous. She also had a mind of her own, just like Binti. Let's get started and follow Anna through her extraordinary scientific adventures. You could also read along with me. Foo, foo! Anna Money blew out all eight candles on her cake. Happy birthday, Anna! shouted her brothers and sisters. Anna had a big family and a big house on the hill. But on her birthday, she had only one tiny wish. Anna tore open her birthday gift and peered inside. There was something sparkling inside. It was a pair of diamond earrings. She was sad. She did not want diamond earrings. All she wanted for a birthday gift was books, books and books because she loved to read. We have books at home, said her brother. But Anna had already read all of them. There are more books in the library, said grandfather. But Anna had read those too. She marched into her room, feeling sad and disappointed. Later that day, there was a knock on Anna's door. When she opened it, there was nobody outside. Instead, there lay a big box at the doorstep. It was a brand new encyclopedia set. So many books! Hooray! Anna ran around her house, hugging everyone. Many years later, Anna found a job in the laboratory of a famous scientist. What should I do here? asked Anna. The scientist pointed to a box. Do you know what she found inside? Diamonds. She was confused. This time, the diamonds were not to be worn. They were for experiments. The scientist wanted Anna to find out what makes diamonds shine. So she read books about diamonds. She loved books, so she read books and books and more books. Being a scientist was the best. Anna could study anything she wanted. She did like things that shine. And what shines brighter than diamonds? The sun. So Anna read books about the sun, sunlight and weather. And she surrounded herself with books, books and more books. Anna 
Sarah did hundreds of experiments. She built many gadgets to measure the weather of a place. How sunny is it in Bombay? Anna built a gadget to measure that. How windy is it in Madras? Anna built a gadget for that too. Her favorite gadget took many months to build. It was a special balloon called Ozonsond. It had a small machine fixed to it. The machine measured a gas found in the air called ozone. Ozone zones fly really high. There goes Anna's ozone sound. Can you guess how many gadgets Anna Money built in all? Nearly 100 weather gadgets. She even had a factory of her own to make these gadgets. It was as if she could build anything she wanted. Anna Money became one of the wisest weather scientists in India. Even as she grew older and more well-known, her best friends continued to remain books and she read books to the very end. This story is a work of creative nonfiction based on the life of Anna Money. I hope you enjoyed the story. Leave your comments for me so that I can read and know whether you like the story. Thank you so much.